Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to liming and pH values in precision farming. If you don't know what precision farming is, it is a way that kind of changes up the gameplay. I personally think it's a lot better than playing with the standard version of the game. But if you wanted to kind of learn a little bit more and get an introduction to kind of what that changes, I'll put a card up on your screen that kind of shows off my introduction video that can see kind of like a little bit of an introduction into what is changing in precision farming. So you guys can check that out. But this, again, we're going to talk about liming and pH values in precision farming. So precision farming changes the way you play the game. Um, the prerequisite to this is you do have to watch my soil sampling video if you want to understand how we got some of the data and things like that. I will put a card up on the screen right now if you want to go check that out. I'll mention that video later, but I'll put the card up right now so that way you guys can go check it out. Um, I'm trying to do this in kind of a progressive order. So this is technically video two, I would say, in the series teaching you how to use precision farming. So liming, obviously, in the base game, if you have liming on... Um, if you have liming on in the base game, just every three harvests in general, you have to put down some lime to make sure you keep your yield up. Well, that changes completely in precision farming. Now in precision farming, we have a pH value. So if I come up to this field down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see it says pH value is okay. It also shows the soil type, which we learned from doing our soil sampling. Well, the soil sampling actually also got us the pH value and that nitrogen value down there. But we don't know if the nitrogen value is good or bad because we change that after we plant a crop in it. But before we plant a crop, we want to apply the pH value down to get the pH value appropriately. This is the proper order to do it. I'm not sure, honestly, if it'll even work after you plant a crop. You could try it, but in general, this is how you're supposed to do it. So what we need to do is get this pH value up to good. We want it to be good or excellent or perfect or whatever it's going to say when we get that value up. So um, the pH value changes based on what the soil type is. So if we look in our map here, this is the base game map here. If we go over to precision farming, um, if we go over to our soil types, for example, we actually have a little bit of loam up here, and then we have sandy loam, um, silty clay, and then loamy sand. So we have all four soil types here, and each one of these four soil types requires a different um, pH value. So um, the loamy sand down here, for example, requires a pH value of 6. The sandy loam, which is up here, this green one here, that requires a pH value of 6.5. The loam requires 6.75, and the silty clay requires a pH level of 7.0. Now, you can still grow crops, obviously, if the pH value is not good. It's just going to affect your yield. Um, so that's kind of the important part. And it also affects your environmental score. You want to get this up as high as possible by doing all the appropriate things here. And I'll talk about that in a different video when I go over the environmental score in detail. But basically, you get a higher selling price for your crops if you get your environmental score high enough. You can see right now, with us being in the middle, um, your environmental score does not affect the sell prices. So just be aware of that. And you can also see the specific values for each field if you click on them. So for this one, that bottom one right there, that's soil sampling. Since I took soil samples here, this one's through the roof on that. And it's about to be through the roof for the liming aspect. So if I go over just right here to pH, we can see the pH values. Um, on here. It's a little hard to tell with the different colors, but we can see 5.75 down there. We have a 6 up there, 6.25 there. So we're going to get those up where they need to be. Um, it shows all sorts of different values because you could overdo it um, and put too much down. Um, and also too, if you have outdated data, that means you need to redo your soil samples, which again, you can watch my first video on that. So yeah. Okay. Now, how do we apply pH to this field? It's actually very simple. It's the same way you're going to apply lime to any other field. So I have a lime spreader here. I have a tractor to pull it. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to get it unfolded. It's already got lime in it, so we are good to go. Um, now, up in the upper left-hand corner, it shows you some different information there. It looks like my help window's on. It's actually not. If I hit F1, my full help menu comes on, but that's just part of it right there. If you want that to go away, there's actually a nifty feature here. If you go to settings, general settings, all the way to the bottom, it says precision farming, help window always active. If you have that turned on, it'll show you some of the information about the equipment you're using for precision farming specific reasons. If I turn that off and I have the help window off, I have it completely off in the upper left-hand corner. And if I hit up one, it gives me all of it. So it's totally up to you. I think that it's a really great feature, so I'm going to leave it on for now. Now, um, I'm actually going to turn everything on for now just so we can learn all the different controls and do all that. So if I come up to the field, down there in the bottom left-hand corner, the map is going to zoom in and show me the different levels. Now, it's already set to automatically apply uh, pH. So it's going to apply the exact amount appropriate for the field. You can see right now it wants to apply plus 0.5 to get it to the correct level for this soil type. And that'll automatically adjust. So if I start applying it, if I hit B to turn this on and I start going forward, it's applying pH as it feels it needs to on this field. 
and it's automatically adjusting and it's putting down more in certain areas and less in other areas and now we're going to new soil type here at the end it's putting down a different amount so there you go and it doesn't it also affects the actual amount of lime you're using you can see doing that whole row i actually didn't use i used barely any lime i used like 600 liters but compared to base game you probably used about two or three thousand to do that same distance so um, it's really cool in terms of that now if we go into the menu here we can see we've started to apply the ph value here and if i hop out now the ph value is perfect in all the areas that i did it so you can see over here it's good it didn't get quite as much out there so it's only good right there if we went over it again i bet it'd be perfect but in general it improved the ph value where it needed to go again this is also an early access version i'm playing of it so there may be some things that get fixed now that's how you do it automatically you can do it manually if you want to if i hit comma it's going to turn on or it's going to turn off the automatic application of it and i can change how much i put down so if i want to put down um you know k raises how much i put down and m lowers it you can see in the upper left hand corner there if i put too much down i can just turn that on and i'm putting down a fixed rate it doesn't care it still shows me the target where it's at and the target is but i'm just putting down a fixed amount of lime um, which is not good so now if i hop out there's going to be too much ph over here because i put too much lime down so that one actually worked out pretty good that one's good because it's a little over but not too crazy and over here very bad because we went way over the ph value so if you go too much lime it's also a bad thing and you can see kind of the difference in here with how that's looking we're putting just way too much down so you can do it that way if you'd like to but i don't recommend it um and they do recommend if you go down here go to the help menu and go over to precision farming you can get some more information here they do recommend that you do this every third harvest kind of like lime is in the base game that's totally fine i recommend after you buy a field obviously do the soil sampling and then put lime down and then i actually recommend doing it every other harvest or every harvest just to make sure you always kind of have that lime in tip top shape and always at the best value so that's what i recommend but you can do it however you'd like to do it if you want to save the time if you do it regularly you barely use any lime on the field every time you do it so it's not like you're gonna have to reload your fertilizer or your lime spreader um, extremely often you actually use way less lime um, doing it this way with precision farming so liming is no longer kind of just a disastrous mess as it was before it's actually pretty easy to do and pretty straightforward and obviously if you're taking care of your liming fairly well as i mentioned earlier if we go up here um, our environmental score is going to go up as we take care of that ph value this ph value it actually hasn't changed yet it might take overnight to update it but you can see we're trying to change things and fix things so um there you go that's what i got for you guys that is everything you need to know about liming i'm going to turn my automatic rate back on and i'm going to get back to doing some liming on this field and obviously you can use um you know a helper to do this you can hire a helper to do all this you can also use gps you don't have to do it manually um, you can hire workers and do all that sort of stuff. But anyhow, guys, that's what I got for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.